Hey, welcome back everybody. Josh here on this house build of ours. Just kind of want to show you something that we've been working on, on and off because of the weather, but this porch overhang is complete now, at least for the framing. I didn't know it needs some of the finishing touches, but I'm um, really pumped about it. We really like it. It added a lot to the house. It provides shade. It makes it feel even like you're more protected and hidden even though you're not, but um, it came out really nice. Just kind of want to show you how we actually did that. Um, it was something that I think is well worth adding to the house. Um, so we're just going to kind of dive right into it and show you how I uh, frame this overhang. So I'm going to show you kind of what I'm doing. I'm cutting my rafters for this porch overhang and what I got going is a 212 pitch which means every lineal foot it has two inches of rise. So if my posts are 10 foot off the wall that means in that 10 foot I will have 20 inches of rise because it's 10 foot times 2 inches that's 20 inches. Uh, the upper roof is a 512 which is a greater pitch. So I grab my speed square Never mind the Hidden Valley part, we're reading the common measurements. And you see these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That stands for the pitch. So what I do is you take your square. This is a 90 and a 45, I think. So you take your square and where it says pivot point, you keep that tied against the board and you come back to like here, I'm on a 2 you want it to plane with your straight edge so um, which I did over here is that would have been square but now I'm lining up with my cut and it is a 212 if that makes sense see it so that means that'll fit a 212 pitch um, common rafter so I got my prototype which is this dirty board easy to remember so what I do is I cut my pitch on the top end this is my top end and then I come back and I grab my prototype and I try to square it up with the board I am cutting my prototype is basically what I want everything to come out to be I already checked it so then I get them to line up after I cut that pitch it's a little harder to do with a camera uh, but you want to keep them square so you can get them as close to each other as possible and once you do that um, see we're good here got the top lined up we got our sides squared up whoa but uh, now I'm gonna mark my bottom right here which is where my it sits on my beam and right there is normally where you'd cut it and that's called a bird's mouth um, it's in the shape of a bird's mouth I guess I don't know why they call it that way but for mine I want a 2x6 fascia and what I got is 2x8 and I want my 2x6 to match my upper roof so I am ripping it down to a 2x6 once it gets past the beam otherwise normally I'd be done cutting after my bird's mouth but I want to come down and scribe this and cut it off 2 inches to make it a 2x6 so my rafters are 2x8 because that's what the engineer is calling for but I want my face to be 2x6 so what it's going to do is it's going to come out to a 2x6 do a jog down for the ceiling and the soffit will be a little higher if that makes sense. It'll probably make more sense when it's all done. But 
So I come back and uh, I mark it all and then what I'm going to do is actually cut it and then just kind of double check it make sure it's right. I got this beam straight and uh, once I get these all these rafters cut I'm ready to go. So I got these up, the this set up. I gotta do those shorter ones down there. But uh, I just wanna kinda show you how it's looking. Um, it's definitely a little more work by yourself, but I got it. This hose has been really fussy. It's a new one and it's making me angry at times. But uh, we're getting it. Um, we got a nice pergola out right now. Um, after we get them all up, I'll, I'll put the hangers on. I'm gonna cut these. These uh, only got a couple nails in. I gotta put some hangers um, for that, for a flush support. And up here, I got like a gusset um, angle bra bracket that goes up there with some SDS screws. Um, but uh, to get these up before night and get these secure, I gotta get hustling before it gets too dark. So um, stay tuned. 